this is Rishi speaking. I'm working as a software engineer with an experience of eight years in data engineering. I'm also a corporate trainer in data engineering from last four years. I'm currently working as a lead data engineer in one of the largest retail company in United States of America. I have worked on different tech stacks like Python, SQL, R, Airflow, AWS, Databricks, Azure, Talent, Informatica, Redshift, and many other data engineering tools. I have worked on multiple domains like banking, retail, supply chain, advertising, marketing domains. In this video, I'll show you the different data engineering services in AWS and Azure. If you are looking for a VMs uh, in AWS, you can choose EC2 and in Azure, uh, you will get the same thing in Azure VMs uh, service. Uh, if you're looking for OLTTP databases, OLTP database uh, for any uh, front-end application which requires high transaction uh, related database then you can choose AWS RDS uh, which provides uh, the uh, different databases like MySQL, SQL Server, Oracle, Postgres, um, MariaDB and you can also have those databases in the EC2 based however uh, it will have a little less control in the EC2 based uh, you have to control certain functionalities in EC2 based uh, but in, AD, in RDS most of the things uh, will be controlled by AWS the similar functionality uh, in the Azure is nothing but uh, a SQL database uh, if you are looking for OLAP databases which are mainly for uh, data warehouse purpose you can choose Redshift in the AWS um, similarly uh, SQL warehouse in Azure and uh, NoSQL databases, DynamoDB is the uh, uh, service you will get in the AWS, the Cosmos DB you will get in the Azure. And the data like file system, um, you can uh, you can implement the data like file system in S3. The similarly, uh, ADLS which is nothing but Azure data like uh, file system uh, where you can create, uh, where you can have your data like setup. Uh, if you're looking for ETL, uh, the Glue is the uh, service you will get in the AWS. And similarly, the ADF in the Azure. Uh, and the Big Data as a service, uh, the EMR, which is uh, the similarly, which is a kind of a Spark based platform. Uh, and HD Insight is a similar service in Azure. Uh, and the Databricks you will get in both of them. So if you want the Databricks in AWS and Azure, like you will get the, uh, the Databricks as service available in both of them. So you can choose uh, the Databricks in on behalf of EMR or HD Insight. And the query platform, which is nothing but Athena. Athena from Athena, you can query directly the files in the S3. The same uh, kind of platform you will get in. Uh, similar kind of platform in Azure is Azure Data Analytics data like analytics for the streaming uh, kinesis is the choice you will get in the aws the similarly uh, azure stream and uh, analytics in the uh, azure for reporting quick, quick site will provide you the business intelligence uh, reporting uh, reporting need uh, needs in the, in the azure the power bi uh, you can choose uh, for the reporting purpose some of the other services like Kubernetes, uh, EKS, which is nothing but uh, Elastic Kubernetes Service and in Azure, it's uh, Azure Kubernetes Service. If you need a serverless service like um, you need, uh, you, your code has to execute uh, without any serverless, uh, you can choose a, a Lambda in AWS and Azure Functions is a similar thing in, uh, in Azure. For the access management, IAM, like you can create the different access, multiple users and the access and you can also create a different roles and assign the uh, policies and all uh, for those a IAMs. The similarly, AAD is nothing but Azure Active Directory where you can do the similar functionalities of uh, access management in Azure. For the monitoring, the CloudWatch, you can monitor the uh, all your EC2s, everything like in every service of the AWS, you can monitor the CloudWatch, uh, including the network uh, size and the processing everything you can monitor in the AW, uh, in AWS CloudWatch. The similar service in the Azure is Azure Monitor. And for the virtual networks uh, in AWS, uh, the VPC is the service you will get in the Azure, uh, Azure VNet. There are many more services like this, but I have highlighted only the services which are mostly used in data engineering stream. Thank you. Please subscribe for more videos on data engineering.